Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to update Kingdom Hearts 3 to 1.06 and mod Kingdom Hearts 3 of 1.06. Now what you'll need is a fake package file of Kingdom Hearts 3, either the Euro version or the North American version. And the download link, so link in the description below. Now let's get on to it. Okay guys, four download links should be in the description below. There should be two patch files and two zip files containing the files I used to create the patch files. There's one for the NA version of KH3 and one for the Euro version of KH3. Go ahead and download the one you're, you're gonna use to mod the game or to update the game. Now, what the, now you should be able to just download the patch and install it on your half PS4 and sh everything should go well. That's all, I have to, all you have to do to install to install the update, but if you want to mod Kingdom Hearts 3 on the late, latest possible update, which is 1.06, what you have to do is go ahead and find, and find the file you want to modify. This is the one I want to modify. I want to change the party members. To somebody, to someone else other than Woody and Buzz. Okay, next, what you want to do is find the pack file, which is pack chunk one s three six. The pack files, if you watch my other video, they are located in. This folder, Trez Game Content. If you're using the Euro, ver the Euro version of the game, this will be different. But it should be the same thing because they use the same exact files. Now look for the file you want to modify. Go ahead and copy. And paste it. Into the uh, patch file, the patch files. As you can see, I already have a lot of file in here. So just go ahead and paste the pa the patch chunk file. And this should take around a minute. Okay guys, as you can see, it's done. Um, what we want to do is drag the path file we want to modify into a hex editor. What we want to do is go ahead and copy the whole entire file we want to modify within the pack file. Go ahead and search for it within the pack file itself. should be able to find it. See, you found it immediately. Then you found it. Go ahead and go to this tab where the file is. Yeah, we need to know what exactly we're changing, so... Go to open cage, so we did it in the last video. Go to this page. Now with this, we should be able to change the party members to anyone we want. So for example, let's replace... Donald and Goofy with Sully and Mike and replace Buzz and Woody with somebody else. Go ahead and copy Japan paste Sully's bite is ex I mean Mike's bite is 
literally just one number off so I have to do is change the number how about let's bring Baymax in here let's bring Baymax in as our let's have Baymax as a team member why not And Jack Sparrow as a team member as well. Oh, you don't have to save. You don't have to save it because it. When you copy and paste it over, it's gonna bring this over. Now, what we want to do is. Yeah, go ahead and copy paste it over. Make sure it's not affecting. Make sure it's not sticking out. It has to be exact, or you're gonna corrupt a uh, file. And, it, and and it's not gonna work in the game. As you can see, it's it's perfect. So go ahead and save that. Now go ahead and open open GP4 generator. If you don't have that, go ahead and download it. If you search it up online, I'm pretty sure you're going to find this. Go ahead and copy. Go ahead and copy this into this as you can see I already did that the press generate GP4 and it's done I go ahead and save it and it's done. Now what you want to do is you go ahead and open it. Go to project settings. Go ahead and go ahead and put in the fake package file you're gonna you're gonna use the package file I'm gonna use is this one. Because I'm using the North Amer, I'm using the uh, North American version. This has to be done, or it's not going to create the patch. This is optional. This doesn't have to be checked off or not. Now go ahead and build the image. Create. Now check. Skip the digest calculation. No, so select where you want to save the file. You go ahead and call this example PKG to show that it's gonna work and mod the game and press build. Now it should start creating the fake package file immediately. Now I'm gonna cut to a point where this is done. Okay guys, as you can see it's done. Oh, like I did in the other video. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't need to be dragged like the other time. Just make sure it's on the root of your USB drive. So that you can install it on your PS4. I'll go, I'll go ahead and cut to my PS4. Okay guys, now the next step is pretty simple. All you do is install the patch file. It's Assuming you've already placed the USB in the PS4, you just go to here, pick package installer, then pick the package. I just have to wait for an install, it will put it into the game. Yeah, so pretty much the exact same method as the previous video. Now you just pick the game and load it. I believe this isn't the right save, so I'll go ahead and go straight to the, to the uh, spawn where I changed the party members right after this loads. I changed the enemy file in the toy box. So it's the toy box. Specifically, the toy. The. What you call it? The toy store. That's where I changed the party members. So let's go ahead and spawn there. As you can see, the mod works. You have Silly Mike, Jack Sparrow, and Baymax all in the same party. This is incredible. Why not? Okay, after I use these two limits, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I mean, not limits. They aren't called limits in this game. They're team attacks.
Okay, let's get let's get away from the enemies. As you can see. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. You wanna take my?